Hi, we have the like uh, important topic in Fusion Cloud. Types of users in Oracle Fusion ERP application. We have the implementation user who can perform or who setups configuration for client requirement. Application user, business user, end user, employee as a user who performs business data entry after go line for business related transaction like journals, invoices, payments, receipts, assets creation as well. Implementation users consultant from software company who can provide the service provider to client and customer. Business user nothing but client side employees who can perform the data. Example, Dell computer using the Oracle application, they will, okay, Dell employees will enter the regular sales, procurement, other related information, example, Arvinda Pharma, Qualcomm. So once you are allocated to client after joining into software company, your project manager or lead, okay, will share the instance and the common credential or initial credential to create our implementation user. Let me explain how to create implementation user in the application. I log in the application, then go to navigator, go to navigator, go to tools, security console. So, if you look at this page, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight functionalities can be performed through security console page. So let us discuss user creation. In this same page, you can create, add the user. We can compare it existing user. Once you created user, you can search you can modify, you can edit, you can override, you can delete this one. This is the great option fusion. Same page you can create, same page you can modify, same page you can delete or end data. That is very, very like of easy process for consultants. Click the add user account, then here, you can observe what are the mandatory fields. Mandatory nothing but star mark indicates. So you can see the active. You can lock it in future. And you can, you can associate the person type. In future, you can create the categories within the user. You can assign one by one for sort out first name, last name. First name, let me give Vikyat. Last name, you can give the pola. So mail ID, you can give vikyat.pola at gmail.com. So I can give the v pola. You can try the any short name, full name, any numeric, alphanumeric also. I'm giving the password. So here, until, unless you are adding the role, system will not understand vpola is the implementation user or business user. Let me add the roles, which is seeded, type with the three character, application, implementation, consultant. Application, implementation, consultant. Add this role. This role main objective to configure the instance, to set up the instance. IT security manager. This role main objective 
to add the roles, to modify the roles, to add the new users, modify the user. Then assign application diagnostics administrator application diagnostics advanced user regular user so this roles is mainly to analyze your issues once you are in the implementation or supporting project if you are facing any errors issues related to project like application or database you can create the srs with oracle company oracle team may request you to provide some diagnostics information related to issue like supplier invoices payments ar invoices you must have these three roles to diagnose the issue, information send it to the Oracle company. Then you can see the application developer. You can add the BI. Okay, so here I added the main important roles. So real time when we are in the implementation project, we can assign these are all minimum roles. Out of four, six mandatory role is first one to configure the instance. Okay, like any time you can add the new roles which is related to your business and you can add the roles to even applications like GL, AP, AR, FACM for testing. So click the save and close. Then back end it will create uh, your user ID also, database ID. Let me query the vpolar. Then here you can see the vpolar. Okay, you can create, you can go here. You can log the account in future, reset the password, then delete, compare user with the existing user, copy. So I'm deleting this my duplicate user. Okay, right. So once you query the user, you can see here, you can edit, you can add the role also in future. Let us take, I want to add GL user, general accountant. Yes, I can add. So I can reset the password. Okay. So these are all major points which we need to understand as a user. Then once you created the user, go to tools, scheduled process. Go to schedule process. Click the schedule a new process. Search. Submit elder. This is a standard program. To synchronize the user roles grants in the lightweight directory access protocol. Okay, you can run this program. Then log out or sign out the common credential, initial credential. Log in with vpola. Your credential.
Okay. Then when I log in the application, I would like to know my user created as implementation user or business user. You can see setup and maintenance. That indicates your implementation user. So you can go on to do the configurations by application or offerings. Within my implementation user, I want to review my credential, go to tools, security console, then you can search it because I assigned IT security manager role to your user. You can query user from your user and you can modify, you can add the new roles as well. Okay. So I copied some theory. Okay. Application implementation consultant main objective to configure the instance, access the organization structure, IT security manager main objective. Okay, to, to create the users, to create users, add the roles, okay, modify the users. In future, I want to create a business user. My user must have the IT security manager to create a business user. That is the reason I assign the IT security manager. Application diagnostics administration. You can go on to do the diagnostics here. I, I created some measures. I want to run the diagnostics. I can go and do the diagnostics like because of this roles. Then I can see the application developer. In future, you want to access the database generally. Then you can use application developer also. Okay. So thanks guys for watching the video.